What's going on guys, Nico back here with another Madden video, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the Ultimate Legends, they're out in the game, packs are live, every, the um, sets are live as well, so if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button, make sure to turn that bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a video, and make sure to follow me on Twitter, it's top link in the description in every single video, I keep you guys updated over there on all the videos I post and the content that comes out, so we have sets, Ultimate Legends are out, 97 overall players with 198 overall LTD, Jimmy Smith, the wide receiver, we have Eric Dickerson, Ocho Cinco, Phil Sims, Leonard Davis, Mike Dicka, Nitran Lane, Larry Wilson, Mean Joe Green, Big Ol' Ray Lewis, and Elroy Hirsch. And this card is really a 95 speed at defensive end. Really, really, really good card. I'm going to probably look to pick up some of the Nomad Spending Count. This is the Nomad Spending Count. You see we're at 700k uh, coins. I'm expecting these cards to be around 350, 300, like the, uh, like the Gridiron Guardian 2 Masters. And let's see if any of them are up. So the packs actually just went live. So if they're not up, I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, but let's see. Where are they? Where's Ultimate Legends? Ultimate Legends right there. Elroy Hurst is the only one up. We can check out his stats. 95 speed, 94 excel, 80 strength, 90 tackling, 95 player 97 block shot, 90 power move, and 97 finesse move. He's got good spin and juke. I, I'm pretty sure he played. I know this is going to sound crazy. I'm pretty sure he played running back, and I, I, don't, I don't really know if he played defensive end too, I guess, but he's 94 hit power. He actually has 88 zone coverage. He's going to be probably one the best, or he is probably the best spy in the game. They probably put it, and, and they're they're trying to make defensive ends faster to keep up with escape artist quarterbacks, and the market just got flooded with a bunch of these guys. Chad Ochocinco, route runner archetype, 97 overall, 96 speed, 94 jump, 95 catch. 96 catch in traffic, 97 spec catch, 94 short route run, 96 medium, 96 deep, 6 foot 1. Great, <clears throat> excuse me, great spin and juke. And Ocho is going to be really good right there. We have Ray Lewis as well, one of my favorite players of all time. 93 speed, 93 excel, 95 strength, 94 tackling, 93 player, 96 block shot, 98 hit power, 95 zone, 6 foot 1, 250 pounds. He's going to be incredible. He's going to be really good. And he has 95 power move. He's going to do the job that Luke Keekly, um, Keekly did really well. So very excited about that. Phil Sims is going to be your other or your quarterback for the drop. I shouldn't say other quarterback, but your quarterback for the drop. 81 speed, 96 throw power, 95 short, 95 medium, and 94 deep accuracy with 95 throw under pressure, 90 throw on the run, 98 pass accuracy. And uh, yeah, he should be able to get Gunslinger and Hara Master. And powered up, he should be able to get all three of the good abilities. Escape artist, Gunther, and Hour Master. It's a good card right there for Giants team teams especially. Larry Wilson. 95 speed, 98 excel, 88 tackling, 93 player, 96 pursuit, 91 man, 97 zone, and 92 hit power. Coming down here, he has 88 block shed. Not bad at all with a 80 finesse move. On Cardinals team teams, he's going to be 99 speed. On any other team, he's going to be 98 speed powered up. So still not a bad card at all. We have, let's see here, a lot of the same guys getting pulled. We have Leonard Davis, 95 strength, 97 pass block, 97 run block. Easily the best right guard in the game now. He's going to overtake Quinton Spain at that position. He's also got 96 lead block as well. And uh, he's not fast like a, like a Kevin Moai, but this, he's still going to do the job very well. Coming down here, Mean Joe Green is sitting at 700,000 coins. 90 speed, 96 excel, 97 strength, 93 tackling, 92 player act, 96 block shed, 97 hit power move, and 93 finesse move. This card's going to be really, really good. 97 hit power as well. This is the fastest Mean Joe card we've ever seen in Madden. I swear he always has like 78, 79 speed. This one has 90 apparently. Uh, he's a run stopper archetype. Really good. He's going to get run stopper for 1 AP if you do like that ability. And Phil Sims is just dropping insanely fast. You can see he's already at 330,000 coins. Eric Dickerson, one of the guys I'm going to be looking to pick up today. 96 speed, 96 excel, 97 agility, 92 carrying, 70 catching, 95 change of direction, 96 truck, 97 break tackle, 94 spin, 97 juke as well. Eric Dickerson is going to be probably the best halfback in the game or, or all-around back in the game. Right there. And then Mike Dicka. We have right here vertical threat 93 speed 91 strength 97 ta or not tackling catching 96 catching traffic 95 spec catch 93 short run 90 medium and 90 run block six foot three he can actually spin a juke pretty well uh his trucking is 96 so he's gonna be really good uh mike dick is gonna be really 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 good bears team teams eagles team teams and cowboys team teams i think maybe it's just cowboys i'm not sure uh and then 
This is the guy I'm most excited to look at. His hit power and block shed and all that is going to be insane. 96 speed on Nitro and lane, 95 Excel, 97 agility, 96 jump, 93 play rec, 97 man, 96 zone, 96 press, 6 foot 1. What is hit power? 95 hit power, 82 block shed on a corner. His tackling is too higher than Dion. That doesn't seem right, but the hit power is really what you got him for here. He's, he's going to be the most physical corner in the game. And good stuff right there. I love all these Ultimate Legends. We should have um, the LTD as well, which isn't... Oh, he's a, he's a 98. Jimmy Smith is a 98 overall. He's down to 600k. Should I buy and try to flip him? No, I'm... I'm Probably shouldn't because if he doesn't sell, I'm screwed. 96 uh, speed, 96 catching, 94 catching traffic, 96 spec catch, 96 short, 96 medium, 97 deep, 6 foot 1. Great spin and juke, 96 spin, 98 juke move. Uh, he's going to be probably what, he's probably a top three receiver in the game. Route tech is built in or baked in. Let's see let's see what he gets route tech for. Uh, he's not live yet on uh, Mata.gg. I would have... I would have checked to see. We can also look at some of these out of position cards as well. We have a quarterback in Nitro and Lane at 95 overall, who should be able to get guns here. We, you can see here we have a 95 overall tight end Ray Lewis. 91 speed, 93 strength, 95 catch, 92 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch, 89 short, 87 medium run run, 93rd run block. He's actually a pretty good tight end, to be honest. Six foot one. He's not the tallest, obviously. Uh he's 97 trucking. He's gonna be a really good card. He's actually gonna be a really good tight end. So, if you guys want to, I, I might do a gameplay with some of these cards tomorrow. So you can guys let me know uh, what we want, what, what you guys want to see. We also have this card right here, tight end Leonard Davis, but he's just slow and he has the same run block as a guy like uh, it, it was it was the um, rising star for the Washington Commanders. It was like Bates or something, whatever his last name was. He has the same run block with with like 91 speed. So that Leonard Davis card is useless. And Knight Trend Lane quarterback, he's a strong arm archetype. 94 speed, 96 throw power, 95 short, 93 medium, 87 deep, 94 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, 94 play action. He's good spin and juke. This card is going to be a lot like the Derrick Henry quarterback. I, I, I do want to see his release, though. It's just it's not up yet on uh, Mutt.gg, which is where I look to see uh, for you know the stats. But if he has the Slinger 1 release, that would be kind of funny because he would actually be an extremely usable quarterback right there. Let's see what these undercards are going for as well. There's 90 to 90, or there's 91 overalls. They're going for 34. Wow, these cards are actually really cheap. I, I did not expect them to be this cheap. And then the low cards are 87 overalls, I believe. They're going for about 14. So yeah, these these sets are not going to be too expensive. These cards aren't going to be too expensive. Let's see what these. Uh, yeah, like Phil Sims is already under 300k. Elroy Hurst is getting there. Ray Lewis will drop under there as well. A couple of these guys will drop under that mark uh, once people keep opening packs. So that's really it for today. These these packs, I don't I don't, I don't know if I would recommend them. Obviously, they're gonna be they're gonna be f like good. Obviously, I mean, I actually I don't want to say good. If you're opening them up with points, then they're gonna be good. I should say. But if you're not, I would definitely try to stay away from them. Um, you can see their pack odds: 87 plus is 100 percent, 91 plus is 67 percent. 95 plus is 19 percent and 97 plus is four percent so you have four percent chance of pulling a full ultimate legend um obviously there's no training offers but there also is a ultimate legend pack like just where you can open a pack no uh no fantasy pack which gives you does it does, does it give you a better chance okay no it doesn't it gives you a worse chance um but yeah i, I don't really know if i would open them this pack is interesting though. If you if you wanted to open this pack, I wouldn't blame you. You have a hundred percent chance to pull ninety one plus ninety five or a sixty one percent chance to pull ninety five plus and a fifteen percent chance to pull ninety seven plus player. So if you can get like a Nitro and Lane Eric Dickerson out of there, you could even pull a Jimmy Smith. Uh, I would definitely recommend you could definitely do that. So that is it for the players. Uh, we should have some solos as well because I, I I guess they're gonna do the token thing again. You can see here. You get Ultimate Legend collectibles throughout each time you play them. I'm guessing you need 16 of them to get the full one. And you go through here, you get all these guys' power-ups and stuff. Jimmy Smith is locked for some reason. You earn a 92 overall Jimmy Smith item for that one. But yeah, I guess you have to complete all the other ones before that. That's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Um, 
let's go look at the set one more time just to see how many tokens you need and then that'll do it we'll come over here and ultimate legends exchange so it should be in here okay okay so you only need 10 tokens so my guess is 10 weeks to get a free ultimate legend that makes that, that's that's pretty cool and then you get a choice of one ultimate legend player it doesn't say end cat so please remember that i'm actually gonna screenshot this it does not say end cat on there so if they come out with an end cat pack there's gonna be a lot of uh talk about that but those are ultimate legends a ton of great cards you will see a no money spent video later today of me picking up some if i decide to we'll see how cheap they get if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button turn that bell on so you get notified whenever i upload a video and make sure to follow me on twitter top link in the description check out yesterday's videos as well we uploaded three times yesterday check those out and i'll see you in the next one see ya